What is inflation and why on earth is it such a big deal? Well, let's just say inflation can cause a normal employee, business owner, a magnate, and then an entire country to collapse. Why? Well, to find that out, you'll have to keep watching, but first make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So inflation is basically a situation where your currency starts losing its strength. For example, you can have a $100 with you and all you'll end up buying is some basic groceries. There are many things that lead up to that situation including your imports, exports, loans and foreign exchange scenario. Inflation is also greatly caused by natural disasters or a pandemic for example. You must have heard people talk about how expensive and unaffordable things have become lately, and that's very true. The purchasing power of almost every currency across the globe has been experiencing some sort of inflation. So many people have already lost their jobs and then expensive goods just makes the scenario worse. The question is, how do we avoid all of this? Or how do we make sure our money doesn't go down the drain? There's a list of things you can do to avoid inflation, and believe it or not, they do help. The one thing that usually gets affected a lot during such market times are cars. Their prices can go really high out of nowhere, and imported cars can get twice the price because of taxes and duty. While you might be able to afford the car, the point is that by the time you'd want to sell it, the resale might not be good enough, and you'd end up losing quite a chunk of your money. Many people consider cars as assets, and you can earn profits on your car if you sell them after some time and if you've kept it in a good condition if there is no inflation. So why get a car that you'll pay for more and won't even get the amount when you go out to sell? Another great way of avoiding inflation is by looking into investments rather than savings. How and why? Alright, so when we save our money in bank accounts expecting interest on them. During inflation, these interests get low as well. So you're not earning as much as you're spending if we only talk about interest. So that money that you have in your savings account isn't giving you the required profits and it's just idly sitting there. What you can do is take it out and invest it. Investing in things and goods that are more likely to give profits during inflation is a key here. These include treasury inflation, protective security bonds, it's only a clever way of making more money with the money that's only sitting in your savings account. However, experts suggest that you don't invest all of your money, make sure you have your emergency funds, rents, bills, etc., and that you invest what's left. And then we'd suggest you go for more basic stuff like groceries. When shopping during inflation, you can try switching the veggies for a bit. Or you can just take more veggies than animal food. Sometimes locally grown veggies get extremely cheap during inflation, which is exactly why people love the idea of having more of that than chicken and meat. During lockdown when the world saw the worst of inflation, tomatoes in the subcontinent were abundantly available and 10 kilograms of tomatoes were being sold for less than a dollar. While some fruits and veggies might experience the effects of inflation, most everyday items don't, which is exactly why veggies are going to be your best friend. Of course, there's no rocket science in adopting to evolving situations, which means if things are more expensive than they usually are, simply stop spending on them. By this we don't mean you give up on basic necessities, but you can spend less and be clever. What you can do is try avoiding accessories, unnecessary clothes, electronics that are extra expenses, and stuff that falls in those categories. The more you spend, the more you're subject to inflation. While cutting costs, you can also think of 10 other things, like letting go of useless subscriptions, looking for cheaper ways of entertainment, etc. And then comes the big change, redoing your budget plan. But first, make sure you already have a budget plan, that's the most important part. If you already have one, you can consider redoing it in terms of inflation. It's not difficult to look up the prices of everyday goods on the internet, so you can easily draft a budget for groceries and gas and bills. You'll notice how the prices have really changed, and then you can start cutting off things that you don't really need, and things that you can do just fine without. This budget plan will help you get through inflation and avoid spending on things that are simply a ripoff. Now coming to a more interesting part, we looked at how inflation can be avoided as a consumer, but what if you're in the production? How do you avoid inflation if you have a brand, 
or a company that you need to look after. The deal is simple, you learn to adopt. While most companies unethically start raising their cost and exploit the market, you can develop smart ways of cost cutting and keeping up with the trend. Yes, you have to make sure your product doesn't fall short in the competition, so you need to stick to a decent enough price frame to reach the audience. You can try cutting off packaging cost. Instead of going ahead with extravagant boxes and shoppers and tags and cards, you can narrow it down to minimal bags that work well for the brand. You can then cut short on adding extra stuff that serves no real purpose. If you have a team of people working for your product, you can make your workplace a healthy one where you cut down on every extra cost that might be making you a serious victim of inflation. Most brands spend hefty amounts on marketing and advertising, and that's honestly the best way to go about. But how to manage it during inflation? You can get cheaper yet good quality designers online through service marketplaces. These designers work as freelancers and there's a ton of them available online. You can select whoever suits your needs best and work with them. You can then take things ahead yourself. Which means instead of hiring a social media manager, you can simply schedule all the posts and promotions yourself and not worry about making a mess there. If your brand requires attending to inquiries online on social platforms, you can manage that yourself if you have the time or you can divide apps between your team members. As harsh as this sounds, you'll be doing the work of your marketing department yourself. Now the deal here is that this usually works for small to moderate businesses. Multinational and big businesses usually need a marketing team without which the company might not reach the required audience. As a businessman or woman, if you have the savings and a good monthly turnover, you can try investing in stocks. Most people think that the stock market is usually the most highly affected during inflation, but that's a false assumption. The stocks might cost you a little more. Yes, but the return is greater when you go ahead to sell them. Again, only get into it if you really trust someone with it or if you yourself have enough knowledge, because it would only be sad to lose the money you save during a time of inflation. And then the last clever thing you can do is to invest in small yet potential businesses during inflation. It is likely that these companies will end up earning more because the market prices are usually higher. These small yet growing businesses are usually looking for investors in their earlier stages, so you can easily buy shares and partner up with the brand to earn from their profits when they start earning. Comment below and let us know what money-saving techniques you ended up learning in this inflation period and make sure you like, subscribe and share. Check the first link in the description to get our free entrepreneur mindset guide that surely help you to build your mindset to beat the inflation.